Welcome back everyone. It is Matt from HowToWoodCarve.com. Go sign up. It's completely free. In today's video, I am going to show you this trick I wish I would have known a lot sooner. It is going to make your wood carvings look a thousand times better. I may be exaggerating, but it really, really helps. A lot of you experienced wood carvers already know this trick and probably could teach it better than I can, but I want to show those of you that do not know it or that do not practice it. So let's get started. The first thing that we need is sandpaper. And let me share a cool secret with you guys. I get this in a bargain box full of a ton of different grits for super cheap. And this is clean spore sandpaper. And if you do not know about clean spore sandpaper, I highly recommend it. I learned about this at a knife making school. I get this at clean spores woodworking shop, which is woodworkingshop.com. They have two different options. They have a 10 pound box for $19.95 and a 20 pound box for $34.95. And the box that this came in, I bought probably five years ago. And no, I did not hold any affiliation with woodworkingshop.com. I just highly recommend them. And this sandpaper is absolutely amazing. So just a heads up, I will have the links below listed to this. This finishing technique will work on any wood carving, but for the sake of time, I am going to demonstrate it on this ax handle that I carved up. And if you follow my work, you know I'm in love with carving ax handles. Now, in order for this to work, you would have already need to, of course, carved your wood, which I'm assuming you know how to do, and whatever piece you're carving, and you would have needed to coat it one time with urethane or some type of poly. And this is where the sandpaper comes in at. I'm gonna tear a small piece off of here. And since I've already coated this one time, I am going to take this piece of sandpaper and lightly start sanding this whole thing very lightly. So the object of this is to sand down the first layer of urethane and then reapply it. And you can already see the haze building up on this. Now, I don't wanna do this too hard, so I'm just lightly going over this. Now, what this is doing is lightly sanding the first coat of poly down. And when we put the second coat on there, it's gonna go on there smoother and knock off any type of dust I got on there. And it's gonna make for a smoother and shinier looking finish. If you look at the sandpaper, you can see where the urethane is lightly being sanded off. I'm using a very fine sandpaper grit to sand this with. You do not want to go too low. I would recommend the lowest you go is 220. I'm using 325 right now, but just make sure that you are pretty high in your grit and not too low because if it's too low, you're gonna just dig deep into the urethane and you don't want that. You just want a lot fine scratches over the entire piece. You may not want to use this technique all the time, the only reason I'm doing it is because I want to achieve a certain look. We got this smoothed out. Now the next step is to take a lint-free cloth and just wipe across here, which I already have done, to get all the excess dust off there that we've caused with the, with the sandpaper. So now we get to urethane again. And like I said, I've already had one coat on this. We're gonna coat this a second time. So I'm just gonna dip in here with my foam brush all right, get in there. All right, I want you to see how this haze clears up. If the camera's picking that up, looky there. That's smooth, that's real nice looking. Now, if I didn't sand that, this would have turned out pretty rough and not as smooth. Oh yeah, this is turning out really nice. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this dry for a day or two, then come back and repeat the entire process. We're gonna sand it and re-urethane it. And by then, it's gonna look really great. Okay, I let this poly dry one more day, and wow, what a difference. Anytime I sand in between the coats, I can definitely tell a difference in how nice and clean it comes out. A lot of woodworkers and furniture makers will use this technique on their projects. I highly encourage you to do your research because not every 
Woodworking project requires this. It's just something a little extra I like to add. So the last thing you wanna do is to mess something up if you don't know what you're doing. But for this specific project, I think it fits well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and you guys know the YouTube thing here. Hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment, all that stuff right there. You know what to do. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.